Hello, um, welcome to this instructional video. What I'm going to show you to do today is how to hack a battery for a Sony VX1E um, to be able to accept Sony VX1000 batteries, um, which are lithium ion, they're more stable um, and they're cheaper. And so, what you're going to need is um, Sony VX1000 battery, um, a um, NICAM battery from the Sony VX1E, or um, the battery charger with this, um, seeing as though you're never going to use this ever again, um, you can just take this apart. I've actually got one um, that I took apart a while ago here. And so one of these charges that come with the uh, um, battery packs and you know it's screwed in place and you're gonna unclip it and this is this is the bit you need because this will take a battery and kind of clip in place okay so let's just get some snips and cut these cables off There we go. So I've got red and black. The little circuit board that came from the um, charger, and I have unsoldered like all of the terminals. Um, the wire in this isn't long enough to go up to here, so I'm just going to um, solder the wires directly to the terminals. It should be fine. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, I've done something with this before and I cut loads of bits out to kind of like make it flush and I can get this to um, sit in there quite neatly and I've drilled some holes that I'm going to um, screw into. I'll also use some araldite or you know something to secure it in place because it's not very, not very secure but it should be okay. Okay, I've made some uh, extra little adjustments. I've just drilled some holes um, in this piece, and so I can now just feed the um, feed the wires through, and this is what's going to get um, soldered into the board. And <clears throat> fortunately, that kind of clips in place. You're going to have to make this as kind of flush as possible and you can do this however you want with a Dremel or a chisel or whatever um, sandpaper. I've used all three. Um, I've, there are some strength kind of points in it and I've just drilled through and I'm going to just put a couple of um, little screws which have come out of some a guitar that I've used at some point. Okay, so <clears throat> I've just put these two screws in place um, <clears throat> and I've got the wires coming out here and that's that's reasonably secure. That's secure enough like for the time being and you can see it's coming together nicely. The battery goes on um, flush. This one's going to be better than the one that I made before because it sits flush with the pack. Cool. Um, now I'm going to solder on um, the wires to the terminal and then put it together. Cool. Okay, so I've just finished up soldering and as you can see um, we've got on the board the um, positive and negative terminals going to the corresponding um, terminals there and so we now that this is in place like in the pins and you can put the cover back on. There we go. And one thing I will say about the covers, the more you take them off and put them back on, they're going to um, split and um, and damage. So I'm going to clean this all up with a good load of Aldite and that should be fine now. So that's it, that's done. Now I'm not like, a, I'm not a professional YouTuber and stuff, so this video is a bit haphazard. Um, 
but it's really simple. 